Aaron Sonia, this happens often. People videotaping police making arrests. Now, there's no law saying you can't. So in this case, Jennifer Gondola says she has no idea why she was arrested. Police won't comment because there's an internal investigation going on. But Gondola says she wants people to know their rights. Handcuffs were so tight. They're like the tightest they can be. Would you do it again? I mean, oh, would... yes, of course. Definitely. Jennifer Gondola says she'd be arrested again if it means protecting people's rights. She says she was leaving Pulse nightclub in New Haven early Saturday morning when she joined others in filming police arresting a man. He was handcuffed and his ankles were cuffed. It was bad. They were hitting him with a baton. They were kicking him. About 10 minutes later, she says police noticed her recording it all with her iPhone. Um, I told him it was my civil right to film. And he told me that he would need to review the tape. And I, to I asked him, what kind of evidence is it? And I told him that it wasn't evidence of the suspect doing a crime. I thought it was evidence of the police doing a crime. She so says the officer it? asked for the iPhone again, or else she'd be under arrest. Instead, she put it in her bra. And he yanked my arms behind me, and he cuffed me. She says she's innocent based on rules put in place just last year. It is the policy of the New Haven Department of Police Service to permit video recording of police activity as long as such recording does not interfere with ongoing police activity or jeopardize the safety of the general public or the police. Jennifer says the story about her arrest here outside Pulse has become so popular that a blogger in Miami reached out to her with his story. He's been arrested numerous times for videotaping the police, and this is very important to him. It's clearly important to Jennifer, too. It may seem petty to some people, but I think it's very important that everybody knows their rights and they're not intimidated by the police. Now, Gondola says since police confiscated her phone, it's been impossible to do her job as a realtor with no contact numbers. She'll be in court on June 12th. Again, there is an internal investigation regarding her allegations against the arresting officer. Darren and Sonia.